So you're thinking about getting your own authority, been trucking for a while, going to go your own way. Very first step you need to do is contact an insurance company because you want to see A, if you can even get insurance. So the first thing you're going to do before you pick out a truck, apply from the FMSCA for your authority to get your DOT number, your MC number, the very first step is see if you can get insurance because guess what? Some people can't. Or if you have some speeding tickets or accidents, that's going to affect it greatly. One of the issues with this is as soon as you starting as soon as you start your company, you are day one. You could be driving trucks for 25 years. New company, new authority, day one. So call around, get some quotes. Uh, when I first started, I got quotes all over the range. It was incredible how much some of these quotes were. Almost like not worth, you know, going into business for yourself, quotes. And my driving record is perfect. And my company is established. And it was still crazy. Day one. Uh, the next thing you're going to have to look into is if you're going to buy your own trailer or if you're going to do power only and pull for somebody else. So these are all options that you know you, you have. If you're an authority, you can go pull for somebody else. And that, if that's the case, then you need trailer interchange insurance. That's not cheap either. You know, you're putting another 2500 bucks a year onto your bill. The third part of insurance, which most people don't even consider, is the workman's comp. And here in New Jersey, that's a big number. Uh, just for me, based on minimum payroll, you know, they, they base it, I guess, a minimum of 30000 a year. Uh, I was looking at 17% plus this bullshit fee and that fee, ba 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 ba. That was eight grand. So, you know, you so let's say let's throw a number out there. Let's say you get a quote for twenty thousand dollars, and you need a two thousand dollar interchange insurance, and you're going to need eight thousand dollars worth of workman's comp insurance. That's thirty thousand dollars right there before you get a truck payment, uh, anything. These are. This is important. This is what you should be looking at first. Uh, my quote came in a lot lower than that, but still, with my uh, cargo insurance, my truck insurance, my uh, comprehensive uh, trailer insurance, and workman's comp, I'm still over twenty grand, and it's crazy. So, very first step before you apply for your authority, uh, buy a truck, you know, whatever. I mean, you can buy a truck and go lease on to somebody who has their own numbers. That's not a big deal if, the, if they'll take you, you know, Schneider and big companies, they'll all take anybody. But, well, almost anybody. So, step A, get some insurance prices, see if you're insurable. That's the case, move on to step B, apply for your authority, uh, that's real easy. You don't need to anybody, pay anybody for that. The FMSCA has changed the website, changed the program format. Uh, that's a, it's a real piece of cake. You don't need to be paying anybody to do that. However, there are some forms that you cannot do yourself. You need an agent to do. So when uh, if that's the case, you may look into hiring somebody to handle it. There's your BOC3 form, the IRP, stuff like that. You're going to need... Uh, somebody that's enrolled with the government to uh, get those forms for you. So, all right, hope this helps. Have any questions, leave them in the comments below, and I'll try to answer them. Until next time.